Labor Day night, winds howled, trees falling everywhere in the pitch black, fire on both sides of the McKenzie Highway 126. This is video from a firefighter's dash cam that night. It's exactly what Lisa Strauch of Lake Oswego saw if she would have been calm enough to film it herself. We have had cabins on the McKenzie River for 40 years, so um, my brother and I um, were third generation. Their cabins are in the town of Rainbow, 45 miles east of Eugene. They own three of the six or eight on Dearborn Island. It's a turn off the highway, then over a bridge, surrounded by the McKenzie River and national forest land. One way on, one way off. And just a stone's throw over the water from the Holiday Farm RV resort and wedding venue. It was a great holiday weekend with the family. Monday morning, her husband left in one car with two of the kids. Lisa, her mom, and her two-year-old son stayed to hang out. Um, the wind started to pick up around four. By 6.30, I was videoing um, the wind and we were watching trees fall down, um, mostly cottonwoods. Eight o'clock, power goes out. Again, texting from the neighbors, trees down. Next thing I know, I get a phone call that they have a friend on Mackenzie River Drive that heard an explosion um, and to hang tight. 10 minutes later, after that conversation, you need to get off the island. Everyone evacuate the island. Neighbors think that explosion came from an electrical box not too far away. They jumped in the car to get out. But just down from the house, Lisa had to gun it up and over a downed tree, blocking the only bridge off the island. At about mile post 42, I look to the left and there is literally a mountain on fire. Again, this isn't her video, but it is very close to what she saw as she clutched the wheel and was blocked by tree after tree. The tree was down about seven cars in front of us, um, and there was a bunch of civilians, um, a bunch of guys with trucks and chainsaws trying to, you know, take out the tree. Um, but we're blocked, and we know we're blocked behind us with a down power line. We have a fire on our left a couple miles back, and we have no idea what's going on. In the daylight, you can see what they were speeding away from. The next towns over of Blue River and Vida, nothing is left. She made it to Eugene with her son and mom that night by 10.30 p.m. I had called my husband and said, hey, you need to call 911 in Lake Oswego. You need to tell me what to do. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be holding him. Am I, like, am I running? Are you coming to get me? Like, how do I get out of this situation? So, um, that, yeah, for... I have a little bit of like acute stress um, syndrome going on uh, in terms of protecting my family. So it definitely was scary. Nina Melhoff, KGW News.